This one again is brought to you by way of special request. Let me read something for you guys. And it is from Monique45. Monique wrote and asked me the following. Hello, great video. I wanted to know if you could do a blog on the children that are incarnating at this time. I knew about the term indigo, crystal, rainbow children, but did not fully believe it until I started to work with children. There really is something different about these children. For example, what I'm noticing is an independence in these kids that is not disrespectful. Also notice that these children are very intuitive and will tell you things about yourself that can be kind of spooky. Don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I notice that children now do not like mixing different foods. What I see is that if a child has a burger, they will eat the meat, then the bread. They will also naturally remove their shoes if they are going inside house, buildings, etc. Thanks. Thank you, Monique45, for the inquiry. Now, it does not matter what we label the children, because there are many terms such as rainbow children, star seeds, indigo, rainbow warriors, you name it. I would like to focus on the consciousness. This is partly why you don't see and hear me doing a lot of videos about race and color and gender and sexual orientation because when we get to a place of seeing beyond the veil and the propaganda and the programming, we can clearly see that what we are dealing with is spirit and consciousness. Every ill of every particular group, sect, or person, no matter who or what it is, can have a consciousness that is agreeable and disagreeable. And most of us take on personas and characters and vessels that will give us both sides of the polarity so that we can truly get to a point of greater consciousness and expansion and get closer to the realization of self. And ultimately that self will tell you and show you and we will just know that we are everything that we see. So there's really no separation in the ultimate picture. However, as we fall further from an expanded awareness and state of sense of self, we fall more into the illusion of separation, meaning these forms, our life paths, the roles that we take on, our trials, our tribulations, our crosses, gives us the illusion of separation. And here is why I gear more of my content towards a mentality, a psychology, and the spiritual components, the unseen, the metaphysical. Now, the thing that I would like to stress upon also is that, unfortunately, humans are easily programmable. And here is why we have to rise above the programs. Because if we do not rise above the program, we will just continue to perpetuate and behave and think in a way that is non-progressive and that advocates and promotes division and separation, lack of understanding, lack of empathy and compassion. Being a being of higher states of consciousness, what we call enlightenment, is the equivalent of a programmer. You get it? The physical manifestation is a program. However, when one is in higher states of consciousness, he, she, or it can be the programmer, can program, can overwrite, can write different scripts. So here is what has been happening for hundreds of years. Due to humans' natural inclination to simply fall victim or cooperate with programs that most of the time does not serve their best or higher interests, the change to which we are evolving towards had to be very delicate, it's very intricate, it's very belaboring and time consuming. So each generation represents 
a wave of consciousness that had to come in and incarnate in different vessels that represent a different point of view, a different piece of the puzzle, a different walk, a different path, and decode those programs from inside and out and gradually rewrite those programs while at the same time creating a frequency, an energetic pool that will be vibrating in such a rate where beings who come in with a higher expanded state of consciousness from the very beginning, meaning these are beings who will come in without the veil of amnesia, but because these beings are very, very high in consciousness and vibration, even a small amount of their consciousness projecting into this collective sphere or even in a physical vessel can cause serious damage. So for there to be a vibratory match and ultimate influence, each generation had beings who come in and play their role to create a pool that would be a perfect preparation for the next pool or wave to come in and take it to the next level. I have to give you an example here. This generation is very, very fearless, but unfortunately this is a generation that did not get a lot of direction and guidance. So there's the fearfulness there, which is a good thing, but then there's a lot of disrespect, no respect for authority and order. But the generations before them had the respect for the order, but collectively, there was still a lot of fear. And the generation before that may not have had, uh, may have had high regard for authority and respect, and they were very compassionate. But again, there was something lacking in that collective way where one lacked, another would come in and make up the difference. So here is what is happening now. The children that are coming in, they're going to basically bring all of the extremes into one balanced state of consciousness. And because of this, they will be able to affect the most change in the shortest amount of time. Let me talk about the children in general. So we are very clear on the fact that this is not just some pie in the sky theory or belief system. Children born between 2000 and now especially we will see these traits more so in them these children have a knowing that you cannot deny these children automatically have a connection to everything around them they have a natural sense of oneness they have a wisdom beyond their years and it does not matter the race, creed, shade, color, it doesn't matter. All those things, again, are related to the programming that has been passed down from generation to generation. Again, these are children who come in with enlightenment and cannot be broken. And they come in with an inherent sense of high consciousness and spirituality. So as the old, die off or be taken off or be neutralized or marginalized these children by the time they become adults will be the future leaders and because they are not motivated by material gain power an inferiority complex or superiority complex or great insecurity or fear hatred that's not their motivation. These are beings who will see beyond form, beyond the illusion, highly sympathetic, highly compassionate. They are purely motivated by harmony, peace, and immeasurable love. And part of the reason why this is so as well is because whether these children experience different paths and different walks of life in a physical vessel, they have the ability to connect with a person and sense their spirit and sense their heart and feel their walk and will instantly 
feel as though they are that person. This is what separates these children from all of the generations before now. And they are coming in in an abundance. They cannot be programmed. They will not fall into peer pressure that would pull them into a self-destructive path. I know four children, two are relatives and two are like my godchildren. These children are absolutely destined to be powerful, effective leaders. These are children who don't want to eat meat. Even though they were born in a family of meat eaters, they will tell you, I don't want to eat meat. My baby nephew, he will not eat fish. My sister asked him at one point, why don't you like fish? And he said, because that's my family. Where did he get this from? It is an inner knowing. So you guys look around and you can see evidence of these children. They are definitely on another level. Now, when these children come in and they get into adulthood and they begin to steer this planet in a more harmonic direction, the ultimate change in humanity may not be totally realized for at least another good 20 years, but we will definitely see these changes as these changes are happening now. As negative and as frightening as they may seem, these changes cannot occur until the old is pushed to the surface and dealt with. It cannot be realized until we get off the fence, take our respective sides, for better or worse, and allow the process to unfold as it is and as it should. I'm back again, back again, to share more rays of love. The best of me is over track, but I don't think you know. I rise again, 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 with help from the above. This is how it goes, and I love it.